Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Paul Picasso again, back again with another review. This is a custom ROM review. Um, a few a few days ago, I think sometimes last week, I reviewed uh, the Omni ROM Nightly Build 4.4.1 for the Nexus 4, aka the Maco. Um, so this is just basically an update. Uh, as I mentioned, it is a nightly build. So each night, you know, the hardworking people at OmniRom there are putting together some uh, sweet features and having them ready for all these devices that are compatible with OmniRom. And yes, it is 4.4.2. It is Wednesday, December 18th, 2013. It is 12.15 a.m. I am your host, your boy Paul Picasso. And we this is a update video on OmniRom. 4.4.2 um, for the Nexus 4 aka the Maco device. So guys, without further ado, let's jump into this ROM review. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and slide that, uh, that is cover lock screen, um, check out my review on that, um, yeah, check out that review, hit the like button and tell me what you think about it. Okay guys, so OmniRom 4.4.2, for those of you that don't know, OmniRom is a special ROM, um, it's basically open and features are added uh, daily and daily and daily. So um, if you want to check it out, just um, yeah, look at the community OmniRom community on Google Plus. Uh, check out, I think it's OmniRom.org. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that, but of course they have their own website. You can just Google OmniRom and you will be uh, given the description to their website. And like I said, check them out on Google Plus. Okay guys, so there's been a lot of features and there's been some features updated, which I really like. Um, today's the 18th, like I said, I think back on the 16th and the 15th, after the uh, those nightlies, what I noticed with the Army ROM was that uh, at that time it was still 4.4.1, uh, and I noticed that Active Display wasn't working. I uh, I basically messaged uh, in the community on OmniRom on Google Plus and told them that uh, Active Display was not functioning. Uh, somebody got a, got to me immediately and uh, asked for asked what device it was, and me and a few other people were having the same problem. We gave them the devices, and of course, the following nightly update. Um, active display was back so to confirm that active display is back what I'm gonna do is go into Gmail I have multiple accounts so what I'm going to do is just email myself okay just to show that active display is up and running again uh, on the uh, Omni Round 4.4.2 uh, oddly enough, judging on the time, I'm sure that maybe in about half an hour, um, the latest nightly will be available and I'm going to flash that. So maybe I should have waited for that, but you know what, I'll just wait um, and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and send myself an email, let's turn off the phone, let's clock the screen and let's see active display and work. There you go, Active Display showing the message. So uh, all of course, you know, if you're not familiar with Active Display, it's basically made off of the Moto X Active Display. So we just touch the ring, we get that little preview up at the top there, showing you a little avatar picture, who's the sender, and a quick preview of the message. You have the option to slide left and open the email or open the notification or whatever the case may be. You have the option to swipe right, unlock the phone, or you have that X down here that just uh, dismisses it and locks back the screen. Okay, so Active Display is up and running on 4.4.2. Okay, let's get out of that. So, this is the Google Experience Launcher, of course. Um, of course, so, you know, by now we're all familiar with KitKat and the Google Experience Launcher. So, this is about OmniRom. So, again, at the top, the contextual title bar showing the either the night, the evening, the day, the afternoon, that sort of stuff. A nice little animation up here, or not animation, background that changes with that. Okay, I have quite a bit of notifications. I'll just exit that. So what we want to do 
is we're going to go to settings. So let's go over here and go to settings. And uh, let's check it out. Of course, the bars, brightness control. Uh, just by sliding across the status bar, you are able to heighten or lower the the um, the brightness. As you can see down here at the bottom, something that was not there before, which was the quick launch shortcuts. Okay, so with the quick launch shortcuts, you know, when you uh, swipe up from the home screen, you would go to Google Now and you are able to set two other shortcuts that is something that wasn't in 4.4.1 on the OmniROM but it is there now and of course this this is a different app that I'm using it's called uh, I believe slide it launcher I'm not sure but I'll do a later review on that it basically just um, adds a lot of uh, customization customizability if that is a word to uh, the quick launch settings but uh, that's a, another app for another review okay and of course we still have the option to screen record here as you can see it in that power menu which is very cool I haven't played around with that yet but it does work I have actually done some um, some uh, 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 some uh, samples with that of course notification drawer the contextual notification panel header uh, active display pretty straightforward that's all the same there you know pocket mode sunlight notification text you enable it customizations you exclude applications you can show the date uh, that sort of things uh, show AM PM and all that stuff now another great improvement in 4.4.2 for OmniROM would have to be well of course you know the Nexus 5 it has the immersive mode so in 4.4.2 they've given us that immersive mode. I usually use exposed framework and I download immerse me, the immerse me module and that actually gave me that but as you can see right over here in that second row to the right we do have now that tile that they put in there. Let's give a second to focus here. Uh, it's not focusing. There we go. It says immersive off. So the immersive off is right there and now of course you can see the um, the notification bar so if I go ahead and hit immersive off now immersive is on and there you go the notification bar is gone and so is the status bar okay so if I swipe down then the status bar appears and the navigation bar it's transparent and of course after a while it just goes away so you don't have to worry about um, hitting any navigation buttons by accident say you're playing a game or something like that and uh, that's basically it guys that is the update to OmniROM 4.4.2 on my Nexus 4 just giving you a quick rundown I'll probably do another review maybe a few days I'm not obviously I'm not gonna do a review every night because some nights it's just a few bugs that are fixed and so forth and so forth so whenever there is a major change in the nightly updates I will definitely be doing a video on that okay guys so yeah I know you see that little uh, animation in the back there don't worry I will do an <laughs> I will do a video on that showing you guys how to get all sorts of cool um, elements and aspects and themes and all those things on your device get it real pimped out you know who I, you know who I am you know what I do you've seen all my other videos if not check them out Picasso Entertainment we do it all alright guys your boy Paul Picasso giving you uh, again the rundown on the nightly build Omni ROM 4.4.2 in a few minutes maybe half an hour or so 20 minutes I will be getting another nightly update so guys when I do get a major change or something that I believe that needs to be shared you know so other people can see it and know what it's all about I'll definitely do that in the video so again hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed for more content such as this it's your boy Paul Picasso representing for Picasso Entertainment signing out till my next video peace and God bless